Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on February 10th, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update. As well, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Looking at our very active sun as we have nine sunspot regions and we've seen over 10 solar flares M-class over the past three days. Also noting something that happened on our northern hemisphere of the sun. Having a look here, the last 48 hours incoming, we do have a very active sunspot cresting in right now for a view. How about one more M-class solar flare? Looking at outgoing, a little earth to scale there as well. Large plasma filament. And as well, a plasma shot there, creating a CME. Having a look here at our northern hemisphere of the sun, big solar vortex and plasma filaments stretched straight across the North Pole and around. Looked like it was swirling around the North Pole there. I've never seen anything like this. This is a little bit intense. We've seen our sun awaken here over the past three days. Pretty active flare regions underneath of that as well. Having a look at multi-spectrum, you can see that large solar tornado standing up. Northern hemisphere of our sun. And as well, a couple flashes on the imagery here. And those are all from the M-class solar flares. Long duration solar flares as well. Another look here, 171 angstroms. Watch that pulse there. That produced 1.8 million mile per hour winds. Just think of what these M-class solar flares are putting out. Watching the last few images there, CME. Solar X-ray flux remains in a heightened C range after seeing two, three more M-class solar flares since last night's update. Another one just now from the incoming region. Geomagnetic activity slightly elevated here, 3.5 KP index. Looking at the DRAP map here, showing the highest frequency affected from these long duration solar flares. As you can see, our planet was zapped all day long today, and especially through equatorial regions mid-Pacific. Having a look at the probability for the aurora forecast for the northern hemisphere, not too much happening in, in the southern hemisphere, but the north is definitely going to see some activity here, especially across Canada. Real-time solar wind sitting at 530 kilometers per second right now, and that's about as much as it topped out today. Looking at Lasco 2, Soho showing all of the sun's events. You're going to see in that northern region, the north pole of the sun, watch for that large coronal mass ejection to take off right there. And as well, a few CMEs ahead of that. This is the last three days of images brought to you by SOHO. And here is that large plasma filament taken off. Having a look at ISWA space prediction spiral, as you can see, a CME took off outgoing direction. Looks like it might amplify the already incoming space weather for the 16th into the 17th. Some intense red zones will be affecting our planet February 16th into the 17th. Schumann resonance for today is a low power of 7. Quick glance at the telemetry here. Quality of 8.6, power of 7, and amplitude of 4. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours as it's been slightly below average. Most recently here, a 5.2 in Kokopo, Papua New Guinea. 5.5 was from yesterday. Tonga region saw 5.3, 10 kilometer depth. As well, Kermadec Islands, New Zealand, a 5.0 earthquake, 4.9 yesterday. 
A lot of these earthquakes were from yesterday up into the Indian plate. We had quiet Japan and Russia. Well, not today. 4.3 and a 4.4 south of Kanchapka. That is pretty far south of Chikorotsky, large volcano that has erupted this week. Nikolskoy, Aleutian Islands, 4.2. Minor seismicity continues through Alaska. And then we get to the North American plate. We had a little bit of New Madrid action here. Missouri this morning reporting a 3.1 in Ketron. As well, Hermley, Texas, minor swarm there. Minor swarm, White City, New Mexico as well. Minor swarm through uh, Yellowstone, 3.0 there, Northern California. About 18 earthquakes northwest of Yellowstone. Quiet through California. Hawaii saw an uptick today, largest being a 3.3. Captain Cook getting to South America, Chile, 4.4. Tarapaca, as well a 4.9 here, Central Mid-Atlantic Ridge, and another 5.0 earthquake there, Scotia Plate into the South Sandwich Islands. Turkey, still not done here, 4.2 and a 4.9 reported today, and as well seismicity breaking out throughout Syria. Earth has been shaking these last few days, and it's about time it calmed down, sitting just around 210 earthquakes, according to USGS, around the world. But over 60 of them have been over 4.0 and greater. This is the last seven days for earthquakes across the world. Increased activity there, central, west Pacific. Let's get to satellite imagery and as well volcanoes that are erupting today. Quite a few have been updated. Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia, Sangue in Ecuador, Cotopaxi in Ecuador, Popopacetito in Mexico, Suiza and Ajima, Japan, two hundred and six active hazards right now. Across this app, trying to find here Fuego, Guatemala, Reventador in Ecuador, Sabancaya in Peru. These are all just in the last four hours. Merapi in Indonesia, Kerinci in Indonesia. Santa Maria, Guatemala. Era in Japan, Karangatang in Indonesia, Shivalich in Russia, Villarica, Chile, and San Miguel, El Salvador. So that's about 15 volcanoes getting updated today. Looking at satellite imagery, pretty large low pressure system off the coast of northern Africa and Spain. Overlooking Pacific. Pretty large system there heading into the Aleutian Islands right now. Watch for an uptick in seismicity. Tropical Cyclone Gabriel is eyeing up New Zealand as a Category 1 at the moment. Heavy rains, torrential downpours through equatorial regions. We have two other cyclones to talk about. Tropical Cyclone Freddy and as well Tropical Cyclone Dingani. And then the Atlantic, we've got a pretty strong system heading up into Iceland as well. The last few images there. And let's get to the weather forecast brought to you by Venture Sky and Daily Events Worldwide. We've got two low pressure systems right now affecting the North American continent. One is on the East Coast in the Maritimes and the other is in the Prairies. We've got a Gulf low developing here set to bring in some extreme weather towards the southeastern Gulf states and as well the whole east coast as you guys could see some pretty extreme weather here south carolina north carolina as that system slowly moves northward and then the cold starts to grip from the west again with that low pressure system through the canadian prairies watch for another low here to develop through colorado states next tuesday into wednesday 
and then it's going to be a scattered mess of snowfall and as well extreme weather across eastern United States with these large systems. Maritimes in the long range. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains could be heavy at times through parts of northern Brazil and as well parts of Paraguay and Bolivia, Rio de Janeiro. Overlooking South Africa, Madagascar, and as well tracking Cyclone Dengani and Freddy. Next few days, not too much to talk about except for daily evaporation rains. And it looks like Dangani will be heading south. Overlooking Europe, you've got a low pressure system right over Mas Moscow right now. High pressure ridge locked in, keeping things dry but cloudy. Through parts of Central Europe, big, strong, low pressure system here affecting the Strait of Gibraltar right now. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Indonesia. Pretty strong system there will affect southern Japan for a couple days. Other than that, no major cyclones are developing through this region. But then we get to Australia. We do have Cyclone Gabriel, who is heading towards New Zealand. We'll be making landfall Saturday into Sunday. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected there. You've already seen some intense flooding this year. And as well, Northern Territory of Australia, watch, you do have a very strong system developing by next Tuesday into Wednesday. And that big low could hang around for quite a few days in the long range forecast. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed all the information shared here with the Daily Dew. Much love, everybody, and thank you so much for all the follows, support, and as well, just tuning in every night. Much love, everybody, and thank you for watching. Stay aware, prepared, stay young, and have fun, and get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.